Hey, sister friends, it's Terry from Sisterhood of the Traveling Brush, and welcome. I'm so glad you're here. We're going to do things a little bit differently in this video. Instead of me jacking my jaws all the way through, I may come in here and there to do some important pointers, but more or less, it's going to be self-explanatory, so I'm going to just let you enjoy some music on the way through. What I want you to get from it is that everything is a canvas and you are an artist and hopefully you love me too and want to subscribe and come back for more videos but this painting was part of a fall challenge um i'm using um suzanne's fall colors from dixie bell are the uh colors that i used on here and lemons to lemonade gave us this challenge and Hopefully you will enjoy it. And if you have any questions or anything, just let me know in the description if you like it. Give me, give me a like, a subscribe, and all those things. You know what to do. But I appreciate you being here, and I just want to say, you can do it. And the moment comes when I fall. this in to remind you it's okay to change your mind. I was going to paint the whole thing in cashmere and then do a little blending in the other colors and all of a sudden I decided to go in another direction. I decided to stain the top instead of paint it because it can handle a little more abuse. And I used Dixie Belle No Pain Gel Stain in Walnut and an applicator pad. So why that look on your face, the tears in your eyes? I feel the seed of doubt, but I'm telling no lies. This is the point when I decided to go bold or go home. I painted the top half in pumpkin spice from Dixie Belle's Suzanne's Fall Colors, the bottom in Juniper from the same line, and then I put in the horizon lines and the trees that you'll see in a minute using Dixie Belle Coffee Bean. Just spend the time and place, oh baby, I do what it takes to 
You'll see that the trees go through several transformations throughout. I started with the coffee bean and then I stippled as I went along um, some lights and dark colors for depth. I used uh, a mix of juniper and cashmere, um, collard greens. Another time I used gravel road. And then in the end, I did a wash mixed of 50-50 water and coffee bean. You'll start to see a few more of the other colors in the bottom here. Just whatever was on my brush at any given time, I would finish working on the top and smear a little bit on the bottom. There was no rhyme or reason at this point other than getting the excess paint off of my brush and making it darker in the outer corners and lighter in the center. So brave and so stupid, just like the movies. How it's gonna stay in the fight with you. Just thinking we would do One other thing that you can see here are the tree trunks. I went through with each of the darker colors when I had them on my brush, and the same thing with the lighter colors to sort of mimic the trunk showing through and then the light showing through those as well.
Sorry about my big old head being in the way on part of this next part. I tried to skip through because it was on a Facebook Live as well. But I mixed the pumpkin spice and the cashmere and then used a dry sponge to sort of stipple and pat and blend it on to give a lighter area to the center of where my moon, which I put in with my finger, would be coming through to put the light through the center there. I also put on like gloves in a bottle and then used my fingers to pat some of the Merlot and some of the uh, pumpkin spice in the area above and around the trees to sort of give that more of a misty look. Autumn comes to Here I'm explaining that I want it to be brightest there in the center from the moonlight, then come out from the other side of the moon a little bit darker and be the very deepest at the edges. Sometimes I'm like a whisper in a riot, but I grow strong and keep believing in me. I mixed a little of the pumpkin spice and Merlot in the beginning of that transition and then I mixed coffee bean with the Merlot for the outer edges and I actually make a wash with the coffee bean and come on with it at the very end to get them just a little bit deeper over there.
here I used a palette knife and the paint that was in the lid of the pumpkin spice just to sort of go through and put a glimpse of tree trunks and light showing through the trees. you're putting in All your hopes and efforts are all in vain Here I just used a crosshatch pattern with a blend of the pumpkin spice and the cashmere to sort of lighten this up and then blend in with a mixture of the pumpkin spice and the juniper just to give a little more essence of light coming down through there almost as if it was shining into water but not exactly I watered down more pumpkin spice to make a little bit of a wash to give a little bit more of a hazy look through the outer areas of the tree line. I contemplated staining the bottom to match the top, but there was a lot of damage down there and I decided it would be better and ground it a little bit more if I went with the coffee bean to match the trees. There was a lot of damage to the hardware and some pieces missing, so I ordered replacements on Amazon. Then I decided I didn't like the bronze color of them, so I painted them with garnet mousse and then used the copper gilding wax over them. I love how they turned out. Hope you enjoyed the video and that you subscribe and I get to see you again. I would love to see your projects as well and make sure and check out the playlist in the description for all of the other participants in this challenge. Bye.